Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and I'm going to be teaching you about the Book of Romans. The Book of Romans is a pretty interesting book. Basically, the Old Testament testifies of God's promise through a covenant through Abraham being the lineage of Jesus. And the New Testament is the coming of Jesus. So if the Old Testament is the shadows of the promised Messiah, then the New Testament is the revelation that reveals the coming and of who Jesus is. And basically, Paul sums it up this way. Neither Jew who have the commands and the laws of God are not saved, and neither do the Gentiles, basically anyone else who's not Jewish, uh, aren't saved either. So the only people who can be saved is not by the works of man through the law or self-righteousness, but only by trusting, fully committing to one's heart the circumcision to believe on Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. There is no other way. There never will be another way. That's the only way. And it's that simple, but it's so hard for us to understand. Where the Jewish people, they were trying to live their life, basically, hey, uh, if you do this, this, and this, and this, and this, then you have salvation. But God foreshadowed that and said, hey, None of you guys are saved. The law is basically to show you guys all your sins. Because without the law, we're free, but the law condemns us. Not that we could fulfill it in ourselves, but that it shows us the nature of who we are and how much we need God. And it actually even foretells of Jesus because anyone who could obey every single one of those must be perfect. Well. That's why we have Jesus. Jesus lived a perfect life according to the laws of God. He was the promise and saying, hey, all you guys have fallen short, every single one of you are wrong. And only those who believe in me, I have the righteousness to put away the old co covenant and make a new covenant. So this is kind of very beautiful. This this concept of who Jesus's characters and how he taught and how he lived his life basically shows not only our desperate need and exposes all sin but it also shows what is acceptable and what is pleasing to God you know and for the Jewish people this was very difficult to understand because they've been living their whole lives doing this this and this and this and this and we can still see that today even with people who don't even know who God is, we see people trying to do this, this, and this to cover up their sin, to hide from the Almighty. That it's okay, don't just don't look at me, you know, I'm good, life's perfect, but it's really not. The only person who can cleanse that is the blood of Christ, which he, only Christ, being the fulfillment of the law for those with and without, is the only one who can wash us clean, who can cleanse our minds, who can purify our souls, and to bring us back to the relationship that we had with God from the beginning. But he's not going to do that if he doesn't see us trusting what Jesus did on the cross. So to sum up the book of Romans, um, there's a law. We've all fallen short of this law. But God, in his kindness, not that we could earn it, said, you know what? I love you so much. If you believe what I did for you, then I will forgive you and I will love you as my own child. But without this, there can be no reconciliation for us to enter into his glory, back into heaven, but we will be condemned for all eternity. So the concept is this, man, cannot reason that that is just frustrating whereas God is unconditional that's unconditional and the only condition is by faith and uh, that's just a beautiful concept if we don't even have to look at it biblically we could just look at it as being human being wow someone died for my sins someone took the chastisement the the pain and the afflictions that was I was rightfully in the wrong 
and he took it upon himself to to just love me and that's basically what the book of romans talks about thank you for watching